Hello guys, this is MJ with MBJ Knowledge. I would like to say thank you so much if you are a returning subscriber, you are welcome and thank you so much for tuning in into our channel and for supporting us. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss out in such important and quality content that we'll always be posting here to help you pass with flying colors okay so make sure you comment if anything doubts questions or any topic that you feel you'd want some questions to be answered please comment in the uh, leave a comment in the section box below okay so today we have this question that comes under electricity and physics and it has four parts so we're going to answer it i've seen a lot of students having challenges when it comes to a combined circuit where you have series and parallel circuit being uh, combined together so the question reads the figure below shows a circuit diagram connected to a 12 volts supply okay so if you look at um, our setup there we have uh, if you look at our setup we have the 2 ohms resistor and then we have the 3 ohms and the 6 ohms this will name it as our resistor 1 and then this as our resistor 2 then this as our resistor 3 okay so resistor 1 is in series resistor 2 and 3 they are in parallel circuit okay keep that in mind let us go to the question calculate the combined resistance of resistor 2 and resistor 3 okay calculate the combined resistance of the 2 ohms and the 3 ohms resistor so if you look at the 2 ohms and the 3 ohms these two they are in parallel okay so for us to be able to find the combined in other words they are asking us to find the total between the 2 and the 3 so we are going to add the 2 ohms plus now remember the 3 ohms is in parallel circuit so any resistor which is in parallel circuit we use the reciprocal so we'll take the reciprocal of resistor 3 and then we'll add it to 2 check on the data correction there so we have the formula now we have R1 plus the inverse of 1 over resistor 2 okay why are we taking inverse it's because this resistor 2 is in parallel circuit okay so now here we proceed we substitute on the values so where there's resistor 1 we put a 2 where there's resistor 2 we put a 3 okay so from here now we will divide a 3 into 1 okay where we have what a 0 0.333 the values are going so here we'll just round it off to two decimal places then later on now we're going to add this 0 0.33 to 2 and then we'll get our final answer as 2.33 ohms so now we have found a combination of 2 ohms and the 3 ohms so remember uh, when you are finding a combined resistance between one resistor which is in series and the other resistor is in a parallel remember you add the one which is in series plus the one which is in parallel make sure you take the inverse of that resistor okay we proceed to question two which is saying calculate the total resistance in the circuit when the switch is closed now this one is a bit different from the first one here we are trying to find the total resistance in the entire circuit what is opposing the current which is passing through this uh, circuit okay so now for us to be able to do that we are going to add again resistor 1 plus the combination of the two resistors that are in a parallel circuit remember 3 and 6 they are in parallel so we need to put them together by combining how do we combine now there is uh, a shortcut where you can use when you have only 
two resistors. So you can multiply the two resistors and divide them with the sum. You can see on the formula there. So this formula only works when you have only two resistors that are connected in parallel. So if you have more than two, make sure you use the inverses, the sum of inverses. Okay? Do not use this one when you have more than two. Okay? I hope that is clear. So let us substitute our values. R1 is a 2, R2 is a 3, and then R3 is a 6. Let us multiply on top there, and then let us add the 3 and the 6. What do we get? Okay, we have 18 over 9, and then now we can divide the 9 into 18. It goes there how many times? 2 times, correct. So now we have 2 plus 2, which will give us what? 4 ohms. So this 4 ohms, this is the resistance which is in the entire circuit or which is opposing the current passing through the entire circuit. Okay, that is the effective resistance in other words. Okay, in case they may ask to say find the effective resistance, it's the same as total resistance. Okay, we proceed to question C. Calculate the potential difference across the two ohms resistor. We are trying to calculate the potential difference across the two ohms resistor. This is our two ohms resistor. Now, I want you to keep this in mind all the times. Okay? This resistor, which is in series, here it receives the current which passes through in the entire circuit. So the current that will pass through these two ohms, it is the same current which will be in the entire circuit. It will be the total current. So for us to be able to calculate the potential difference, remember if we go back to those two words, there is EMF, there is PD. Potential difference and electromotive force, they are two different things. When you look at the 12 volts here, this is EMF because it goes through the entire circuit. Okay? It drives the charges in the entire circuit. But now we are looking at the energy that is being converted on one particular component. That is now what we call as potential difference. So they are asking us to find just the voltage which is being used by this 2 ohms resistor. Okay? So for us to do that, it means we need to know the current which goes through these 2 ohms. Okay? Because the resistance we already have. Now for us to find this, we we'll use... Total voltage, we also use total, uh, 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 total resistance because we are finding total current. Okay. So on the formula there, we'll use voltage equals to current times resistance. Okay. So current, we I've said you can just divide the 12 divided by the 4. Where are we getting the 4? 4 is the total resistance, 12 is the total voltage. Okay. So on the data there, when we divide 12 by 4, we are getting 3 amps. So this is the current which is running in the entire circuit. And that is what we want. Okay? Resistance, we have a 2. So we can multiply 3 times 2, where we'll get a 6 volts. So that is the potential difference which is going, our, which is being used by the 2 ohms resistor. Okay? We go to question number D. Calculate the current flowing in the circuit when the switch is closed. Now, here, this question is a reputation, okay? Because whatever we did here when calculating this, you can see on the data there, whatever we did, that's exactly the same thing we're going to do on the last question. So that is why I'm saying it's a reputation question, okay? So we are saying for us to calculate the total current, we need total voltage, one, two, we need also the total resistance, okay? So going by our formula, current is equal to voltage over resistance, so we just divide, total resistance is four, total voltage is 12. So 12 divided by four, we have our three amps as the total current which is flowing in the entire circuit, okay? So thank you very much guys for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so so that you don't miss out to important
content like this one. See you in the next video.